What's going on guys? Welcome to another product review on the 35th Parallel. I am Jay Wheeler. If you haven't already done so, go check out Jay Wheeler TN if you want to keep up with the journey and everything that's happening over in that part of the world. Today we're going to take a look at the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning. Weighing in at just 47 pounds and just over 8 feet long, the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning is an awning that attaches to your roof rack. After you order your Batwing Awning, what you can expect to find in the box is the Batwing itself, the anchor in which the Batwing attaches once it is fully deployed, a bag where you'll find all of your orange lines and pegs, and in that bag you'll also find some extra parts like your plastic hinges. Mounting the Batwing is one of the easiest things that I've ever done. These L-shaped brackets attach to your roof rack and then are connected to two metal pieces that you slide in a rail system to your Batwing. One of the things I think Rhino Rack wanted to do with this product was make deployment of the awning as easy as possible. To deploy the Batwing, first you'll have to undo the Velcro straps located at the rear of the Batwing. You will then unzip the cover to expose the Batwing and fold it over top. You can see at the front of the Batwing that the posts are held with rare earth magnets to keep them in place. After freeing the Batwing from the rare earth magnets, you can grab the strap that later connects to the anchor and pull it around. Attach that strap to the anchor and adjust to your desired tautness. After the bat wing is secured to the anchor, you can go back and release the legs that are held in clips underneath the bat wing awning. While you're deploying the legs to the awning, you can go ahead and make adjustments to the awning as well for the desired height of each area. After everything is set to your liking, you can go ahead and get your pegs. You'll see the feet have these cross channels in them to help secure the feet to the ground so that the wind does not blow the awning away. In addition to this, Rhino Rack provides orange lines so that they are very visible and you can attach those to the awning and attach them to the ground with more pegs in order to secure the bat wing even more and prevent the wind from moving it around. After the bat wing is fully deployed, it gives 270 degrees of coverage. That is equivalent to 118 square feet. The material used is a lightweight, ripstop and mold resistant material with a UV rating of 50 plus that is endorsed by the Cancer Council. Now if you're one of those people that didn't want to stop there, you can actually add on different things to your Batwing awning, such as more awnings to basically enclose the awning in or create a wind block or other tents that will attach to the other awning by using the zippers. So today we showed you the Rhino Rack on the left side of the vehicle, but if the left side doesn't work for you, you can also order the Rhino Rack for the right side of the vehicle, whatever is going to work best for your rig. Guys, if the Rhino Rack is something that you think is absolutely just too cool and something you would like to have on your vehicle, I'm going to provide you a link where you can go take another look at it and even purchase it if you'd like to. If you have any other questions of something that I may not have covered, then leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. And like always, I appreciate you checking out the video. We'll see you.